Keep those hands up, you understand? Throw that jab, wipe with the jab, let everything come off it. And don't forget the... Here's one of those flurries, the kind of action nobody could really expect in this fight. You see the fast hands at close quarters of Pernell Whitaker. That was a 10 punch combination, Larry. Wow. Two guys who never stop. Promoter Dan Duva said this was the best fight since in Virginia since the Civil War. He may be right. <laughs> well, as you mentioned, you have two world champions. Uh, when a champion, they have that champion's heart, both of them, and a lot of pride. And it's all coming out in the ring. But again, Whitaker is doing the same thing time after time, sliding to his right, using the right jab, and Buddy is not trying to step over and get Whitaker in front of him. I mean, he's, he's trained to fight a southpaw in this fight. Time, Whitaker lands a jab. Both fighters slowing down a tiny bit in the seventh. Another sensational left hand for Whitaker, and McGurk landed a blasting right in return. Spectacular exchanges of power shots from these two great technicians. Again, Whitaker will not allow McGurk to dominate him at any time in the fight. Gil. I, but the thing that amazes me is that they, they in Whitaker's corner that they don't see that Whitaker was just sliding a little bit to his right. And McGirt just landed his best left hook of the fight. Exactly, and it followed a right jab, which he should be doing more of. But now here comes Whitaker fighting back. Trying to reestablish himself because, as you say, Gil, he doesn't even want McGirt to win a minute, much less a round. Anytime McGirt nails him with a solid punch, Parnell is right back, bombing away. Parnell, much the busier fighter. If there's one critical difference to this point in the bout, it is that Parnell simply throws and lands more punches. And that's what he usually does, especially here in the scope. Just not putting his punches together, Jim. And that's mostly because Whitaker is never really in front of him. Solid right hand inside for McGirt, but Purnell comes back with about four or five shots of his own. And now McGirt has a big bounce under his left under eye. his left eye. Yeah, big solid evasion. Growing. Which is where that right jab has been peppering him. Target practice along the ropes for Whitaker. Buddy works his way out. Fight has been everything it was expected to be and more. Certainly different in style than most of us would have expected. Straight left landed for McGirt. Whitaker trying to dig to the body with the left again. Whitaker wants one more left hand shot. And he got a right hand in as the bell sounded. And I thought he wobbled him with that left hand, Gil. The points. You can't do that and expect to win. Whitaker may be a little more defensive than he has been in the past three rounds. Backing up and living behind the jab for the moment. And now here comes the straight left again. And he lands one to the body. And another one to the head. And here comes Buddy. Very, very weary right now. Crowd rising.
showing an appreciation here as they root for Whitaker to score the knockdown, which he so greatly covets now. Let's go, you're tired of Bertine. was right with those body punches. He looks like he's almost ready to go. He's only been knocked out once in his career in 68 fights. That was by Meldrick Taylor. Oh, what a sensational left. But Buddy stands in. McGirt's taking a beating now, Gil. It's become a one-sided fight. Completely one-sided. It's as if Colonel Whittaker has imposed his will on Buddy McGirt. That's exactly what he's done. He has simply stepped in belly to belly and proven himself for the moment the better man. Here comes another straight left. If McGirt didn't give up in the last fight over the last two rounds, he's not going to give up here. There it was, a crushing left. Another terrific round for Parnell Whitaker. He had a shoulder operation <laughs> after the last fight. McGirt now is just staying in there on courage. That's about it. He's offering no opposition whatsoever. Are you shocked, Gil? Well, I've seen Buddy. I, I, I know the courage he, he has. I saw him win a fight when he had a bicep tore in half. I know he's a courageous guy, but he just doesn't Let's seem go, to be go. able to throw any punches. The great thing about Whitaker here is that he has a boxer's mentality. He doesn't get overexcited because he's got his opponent hurt and ready to go. Lands his punches, gets out, starts again. No, 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 no. It's been the same pattern, in Larry, for the entire fight. There's been no change in, in uh, McGirt's strategy from the opening round. You can just stand and watch it. Here's, here's Whitaker jabbing and sliding to his right all night long. McGirt slipping on the same wet spot on which Whitaker went down a couple rounds ago. When he had to be. Yep. Done a great job. Whitaker retreating away from McGirt's straight rights. The two fighters smile at each other momentarily. Slow tactical round. Now McGirt slipping on the wet spot. And a flurry from Whitaker to close out the round. Brunel Whitaker may have taken more heavy shots here in the first three or four rounds than at any time in the past couple of years in his career. But he weathered the early storm and eventually asserted tactical dominance over Buddy McGirt. Ah, oh, breaking our stepfather, very clean. Quit the wrestling now. Let's go get out of this, sweetie. Let's go. instead of six in his gun tonight. Two great technicians. Look at the way they both escape from the ropes. First one, then the other. Less than 40 seconds now to what should be something more than just the obligatory embrace of mutual respect. 